fittest man of the Netherlands. Jeremy Reinders. Jeremy Reinders. Jeremy Reinders. Jeremy Reinders. What's up guys? My name is Jeremy. This is the fittest man in the Netherlands. He is a three times CrossFit Games athlete and has been vegan for more than seven years. His name is Jeremy Reinders and today I'm joining one of his training sessions because I want to know if I can keep up with a professional. <coughs> Come on, we need some drama for the story. Let's just pretend I have a chance. You have heard correctly. Fittest man in the Netherlands, three times CrossFit Games athlete. And for the people here who don't know what the CrossFit Games are, it's like the World Cup of fitness. Just to qualify for the CrossFit Games, it's insanely tough. Thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands. A lot of people try to qualify for the games and only the 1% make it. Jeremy made it three times to the games and even finished in the top three as a team. Insane athlete, vegan for more than seven years. I haven't done any CrossFit in any proper CrossFit in a really long time. So today will be painful, but where there is a will, there is a way everything is figure outable. So let's get this beautiful day started we're gonna train it what was that we will train at crossfit wanderlust if you ever make it to bali make sure to visit crossfit wanderlust not sponsored just a really nice gym they even have a spa area now so ice bath sauna i'm looking forward to the ice bath because i know i'm mentally really strong he's physically really strong it's i mean he's also mentally strong if you if you perform at that level you have to be mentally strong let's get this beautiful day started Vamos. First workout, a lot of rope climbs. First we started with strict rope climbs and then with regular rope climbs. My goal was to just finish one rope climb faster than he did. Three minutes in and I'm already bleeding. <laughs> For the second workout, one of Jeremy's friends joins and what can I say? CrossFit not only trains your body, but also your ego. It will happen that you get outperformed by a woman. <laughs> He's killing me. I thought I did relatively well the first workout, the first two workouts, and then I thought I'm done. And then he's looking at me. And he said, yeah, well, nice warm up. Three workouts to go. I thought that's the last one. Third workout, 21.59 deadlifts, 9.75 wall walks. Wall walks are so freaking challenging. It's a quick workout, but really painful. Mate, promise me this is the last one. Yes, it's already the last one. Because I already th thought three times it's the last one. <laughs> well, we might have some core work to finish off with. Okay, okay, I'm excited. Ooh. Are we starting now? Yeah, we're inside now. Okay, okay, finally. He's warming up. I'm already so hot, I can't get any warmer. For me, the toughest part with you is memorizing the workouts because they're yeah. so long. I know, we don't have a whiteboard <laughs> to write it down, but we're gonna be three to five sets. Uh huh. Probably five. 21 wall balls, 21 calories on a row. I'm gonna do 60 double unders. And maybe okay. you do. 600? Yeah. Yeah, okay, exactly. gotcha. Okay, yeah. well, then, <laughs> enjoy. Last workout five sets of 21 wall balls, 21 calories on the row, and 600, no, 60 uh, double unders. My battery died. And not only the battery of my camera, but also my battery. I think I could still go, but I would be dead tomorrow, just too sore. So I'm watching Jeremy doing round four and five while enjoying a coconut. It's lovely view. I miss this gym. After three hours of training in a nice spa session, it was time to record a podcast. I obviously had some really important questions. The first question is, how did I do? Be well, honest. No, no, no. You did. You did great. Like, and I think you did exactly what you needed to do. It didn't do anything more than than you should. I think this was just a 
good session. Mm, yeah. I, I stopped at the end just because I knew I will be sore tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> and I just wanted to, you know, my, not train my ego, but train yeah. my body. No, and so, you did that. That was good. And um, I, I was surprised that... <laughs> That I could just do still double unders and rope climbs. I mean, my, yeah. my hands are completely gone. Yeah. Um, but I felt really good. I felt really good. Eventually, a friend of mine who, who um, started a plant-based protein company, he said, like, yo, yo Jer, like, plant-based eating is going to be the future. Like, <laughs> you have to watch this documentary, Forks of an Ice. And I was like, yeah, right. Like, <laughs> like whatever. Because at the time, I was one of the biggest meteors, like, like, you know, like my favorite meal was always to go for unlimited spare ribs or I would eat a whole chicken or um, whenever I, w I would go for sushi and eat a limited amount of sushi, like the biggest amount. Mm -hmm. And my breakfast was always like eggs and bacon. Um, and then for lunch, it was like chicken with rice cakes or chicken and rice and broccoli. Um but I was trying to eat healthy, and I thought those things were healthy. Um, and I, I still, I mean, you can still perform well on those things. But after I actually gave it a go, watching the documentary Forks of a Nice, and then I got really intrigued by it um, and started to, I think I, I had to like really convince myself before even starting thinking about it. So I think I watched like all the documentaries there are, I read the books, I read the articles. Um, I think my favorite one was the book How Not to Die from Dr. Michael Greger. Mm -hmm. um, and then I was like, well, I'm going to just give it a go for one or two weeks, see how I feel, <laughs> and, then, and then we'll go from there. Even if you just go there for like 10 minutes on whatever, just building the routine of going to the gym, that's the most important part. And that's also something um, I really try to remember myself. Like, not every day has to be perfect you rather want to be able to stack a lot of good days, like just a good training session, wasn't a perfect training session, but um, and not beating yourself up, up about it, like stacking lots of good days over occasional great days will for the long term be so much better and so much more sustainable um, by, because by doing for a long time things just good will make you of course eventually be Great and that my friend was one day with the fittest man of the Netherlands. I already left the country. It was my last day actually in Indonesia uh, and I spent it really wisely. I had a blast even though I'm still a bit in pain. My hands, my legs are still a bit bleeding but at the end of the day I had a lot of fun. Jeremy is such a good role model for all the men out there, for all the athletes. You know he he has been vegan for more than seven years and accomplished those incredible results. He's such a beast. I hope you sent this to your uncle, your father, your brother. More men need to realize that you can perform on a really high level, that you can build muscle, that you can still be a strong man and, you know, eat plants. It's time to wake up. It also taught me that your surrounding has such a big impact on you you know I haven't done any CrossFit for such a long time but just being around people helped me to do all of the movements to train hard to just perform well it I, I don't know how I managed to do all of the movements you know it was my first time this year but just having people around who support me who know all of the drills who know how it how it's done helped me to just yeah perform better your surrounding you know if you choose it wi wisely if you have a positive surrounding has obviously a positive impact on your life so make sure to choose your friends wisely we recorded also an entire podcast make sure to check it out it's a wonderful oh my goodness what's happening here other than that thank you so much for watching i'm really excited to create content here in thailand it's such a beautiful place but uh, yeah another vlog is coming so much content is waiting for you so make sure to subscribe make sure to give it a thumbs up and most importantly make sure to move to exercise to surround yourself with positive people best case you combine that maybe try a crossfit class maybe try something new you know like working out should be fun working out should be something that you enjoy so that you don't have to like motivate yourself no it should be something that you truly 
are looking forward to like I am doing right now. I'm excited to hit the gym, meet my friends, take an ice bath, sauna together. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.